I recently received a set of these pocket-sized LED light panels from a company called WeLight. And I have to say, I've seen other lights like these advertised online, but I've never taken them very seriously, especially for video camera applications, mainly because they're so small. But as soon as I started playing around with these, I was really surprised by how powerful the light output is. And it's not just the brightness, but also the colors and effects that these are capable of producing. So one thing I discovered uh, with these lights is that they're good for tabletop photography. So if you've got some little items or products you'd like to photograph, these can come in pretty handy. These can be really good to use if you've got an Etsy shop or otherwise sell items online. Now I'm about to show you some examples, but I've also got a guide that you can download that teaches you everything you need to know about using these lights. It's got several example lighting setups you can follow. I'm going to link to that in the description, but for now let's get to our examples and cover some of the basics of using this light. Now let's go ahead and start with the controls. This model of Wii Light, the S05, measures about 1 inch by 2.5 by 4 inches, and that's approximate. Uh, this is the front where the light is emitted, and on the other side you've got four buttons and a small menu screen. Hold this button down to power on the unit, and you can cycle through several modes and settings with this button. You're just going to use these two buttons to adjust the settings. There's also an app available for controlling one or more of these lights from your phone. But for these demonstrations, we're just going to run these lights manually. All right, let's go over a couple of setups from my ebook to demonstrate what is possible with these lights. And we're going to start with a shot of a Lubitel camera as our subject. And the idea is to photograph it with a nice colored background using two lights and a white key light on the camera itself. And we're going to start by attaching background lights to these mini light stands. The Wii lights have standard quarter inch threaded sockets and they also come with accessory adapters so you can attach them to various supports one way or another. All right, next we select a color and adjust the power setting to around 50%, which should work pretty well against our Savage Thunder Gray seamless background paper. I'm using a set of foam core flags to help block the light from the camera position. These flags are supported by smaller foam core cutouts that I'm using as leg supports. So I've got the lights on both sides feathered out to cover the background more evenly and I've got a white light supported by a mini boom arm. This light's positioned just above and slightly to one side of the Lubitel. Finally I'll add another small piece of foam cord to help block some of the white light from hitting the background. Now if we don't do that the white light is going to spill over to the background and contaminate the nice color we've got over there. All right, so here's our setup, and what's nice is we can see in real time how our lights are affecting the scene. And it's easy enough just to take a photo with my iPhone. All right, let's try another setup from the ebook. This one is of a microphone, and for this, we're going to use a black background so the mic is kind of isolated in space. Uh, and we'll just place two white lights in a cross lighting pattern, one below the mic and off to the side a little and we also want to make sure that we flag that light off from the camera position uh, so that we can avoid it flaring into the lens. Now I've got another light positioned on the mini boom arm just above and on the other side of the mic and both these lights are set to uh, 6500k at about 50 percent power. A quick shot with the iPhone and this is the result. All right let's just do one more for fun. We'll take a little glass vase and splash the background with a couple of colors. No flags this time, uh, but we will use a small flag over the white light just above the vase. Uh, so again, we're flagging the light off from the background so it doesn't spoil the color back there. And here's the result. Well, I think these lights have a lot going for them. They're extremely affordable. They're small enough that you can fit several into your camera bag. They're easy to control and set up, and they produce constant light as opposed to flash so you can see the effect of the color and the intensity and placement in real time as you're arranging them around your subject. All right, again, don't forget to download my guide to using these lights. And if you haven't already, subscribe, like, and comment. I'll see you next time.